Have you ever wondered what it takes to transform a tiny fertile egg into the chicken meat on your dinner plate? How do we make sure that each day old chick survives, thrives, and eventually becomes a safe, high quality product for consumers? From the precise control of a hatchery to the innovation in broiler houses, and finally the rigor and hygiene of a modern slaughter and processing plant, the entire chain depends on technology, management, and best practices. Tonight, I invite you to walk with me through the seamless journey from egg to table, exploring how modern poultry systems operate in today's world and why every detail truly matters. Hatchery technology and incubation. The journey begins with fertile eggs sourced from breeder farms. These are the eggs destined not for consumption, but for hatching. In modern hatcheries, each egg's environment must be controlled with high precision. Temperature, humidity, ventilation, and turning schedules are rigorously monitored. Automated incubators and setter machines hold trays of eggs, often with racks that pivot or tilt on a schedule to mimic natural turning, so that the embryo doesn't stick to the shell membrane. According to industry practices, the incubation period for broiler eggs is about 21 days. In these settings, digital sensors alert operators to variations in temperature or humidity. Some advanced hatcheries even employ real-time monitoring systems that adjust conditions automatically. The goal is maximizing the hatch rate, the percentage of fertile eggs that successfully produce viable day-old chicks, while minimizing embryo mortality. Suboptimal conditions may lead to weak chicks, poor yield, or deformities. As the eggs approach their final days of incubation, they are often transferred to more sensitive hatchery units, where conditions shift to support the final phases of development, control ventilation and extra attention to airflow to help chicks break through the shell, pipping, and emerge safely. Once hatched, the chicks are dried, selected, removal of shells, unviable chicks, vaccinated or given prophylactic treatments, and prepared for transport to broiler farms. Some newer systems experiment with on-farm hatching, where eggs are brought to the farm and allowed to hatch in situ rather than transporting day-old chicks. Proponents suggest benefits include reduced stress, immediate access to feed and water, and better welfare outcomes. However, that approach demands changes in infrastructure and management. A critical factor is hygiene and pathogen control. The hatchery environment must be kept extremely clean with rigorous disinfection between batches, biosecurity protocols to prevent contamination from bacteria or viruses, and controlled foot baths, airlocks, and personnel hygiene measures. Every breach in biosecurity in a hatchery risks transmitting disease to the entire successive flock. Raising broilers, brooding, growth, and management. Once chicks arrive at the broiler farm, their life enters a phase of intensive care and growth. The first few days, the brooding period, are delicate. Chicks require stable heat, protection, humidity, and immediate access to feed and water. In modern farms, climate control systems, automatic feeders, nipple drinker lines, airflow systems, and lighting systems are all integrated to maintain optimal conditions. Farm structures may use floor systems or cage systems depending on design and scale. Ventilation is vital to remove ammonia, humidity, and heat. Temperature is carefully managed. Too cold or too warm can stress chicks, reducing feed conversion and growth. Lighting schedules help regulate behavior, feed intake, and rest. Stocking density, how many birds per square meter, is balanced. Maximize production, but avoid overcrowding, which leads to stress, disease, or mortality. Nutrition is another cornerstone. Feed formulations evolve over phases. Starter, grower, finisher diets, each tailored in protein, energy, vitamins, and minerals to support rapid but healthy growth. Broiler genetics evolve too. Modern strains are selected for high feed conversion ratios, FCR, e.e. how much feed is required to produce one unit of meat. Broilers today often reach slaughter weight in five to seven weeks, thanks to improved genetics and management. Disease management is essential. Vaccination programs, regular health monitoring, all-in slash all-out management, emptying barns between flocks, litter management, cleaning and disinfection, 
and strategic use of veterinary oversight. Mortality must be minimized. Even small losses eat into profitability. Farm performance is judged by indicators. Daily weight gain, FCR, mortality rate, uniformity of flock, feed consumption, and grain slash ingredient cost. The better the control, the more efficient and cost-effective the production. One interesting research note is that chicks hatched on farm versus transported from hatchery sometimes show better performance metrics under certain conditions. Ultimately, every link from breeder to hatch to farm must be optimized to yield healthy birds ready for processing. Modern poultry slaughter and processing. When birds reach target weight, they're moved to the processing plant. The slaughter and processing facility is where live animals are converted into safe, marketable meat products. The process has many steps, each with strict controls for hygiene, food safety, and welfare. Arrival and pre-slaughter handling. Birds are caught, sometimes manually, sometimes via mechanical chicken harvesters, and transported in crates or modules that ensure air circulation and minimize stress or injury. Upon arrival to the plant, birds rest in holding modules or cages, sometimes fasting six to eight hours with water to reduce gut content and minimize risk of contamination. Stunning and bleeding, killing. Before slaughter, birds must be rendered insensible, stunned, to minimize suffering. The predominant method is electrical stunning. Birds' heads pass through an electrified water bath which interrupts consciousness. Some plants use controlled atmosphere stunning, CAS, systems with carbon dioxide or low pressure. After stunning, birds are bled by cutting major blood vessels in the neck exsanguination. The process is timed and controlled to ensure complete bleeding and humane handling. Scalding into feathering. Next, carcasses undergo scalding. Immersion in hot water with precisely controlled temperature to loosen feathers for easier removal. The carcasses are then mechanically plucked, removing feathers and down. Automated machines rotate and rub carcasses to remove remaining feathers. Singeing or flaming may follow to remove residual feathers or hair. Then carcasses are washed to remove feed debris, blood, or contaminants. Evisceration and inspection. Carcasses are hanged and internal organs are removed, evisceration. The head, feet, crop, and viscera are separated and inspected. The process also involves trimming, removal of discolored parts, gizzard, liver, heart harvesting, etc. Each carcass is inspected automated or manual for residual contamination or defects. Internal inspection ensures no ruptures, disease signs, or other disqualifying conditions. Washing, chilling, and further processing. Post evisceration, carcasses undergo final washing and chilling, often in cold water or air chilling, to reduce microbial load and bring internal temperature low enough to inhibit bacterial growth. After chilling, birds may be drained, weighed, portioned, cutting into parts, breast, wings, drumsticks, etc., packaged, and labeled for shipment. Some plants further deb one, grind, or prepare processed products like nuggets, patties, or marinated cuts. Throughout this chain, hazard analysis and critical control point. HACCP systems are integrated. Critical control points include scalding temperature, chilling time, evisceration hygiene, microbial testing, etc., Waste handling is also integral. Awful, feathers, wastewater, byproducts must be disposed or reused as feed ingredient, fertilizer, or render components under environmental regulations. Automation is common in modern plants to increase throughput, reduce human error, and maintain consistency. Many steps from carcass transport, defeathering, chilling, cutting, to packaging are mechanized or robotic. The process diagram from facility models typically shows a flow. Receiving, stunning, bleeding, scalding, plucking, evisceration, washing, chilling, packaging, storage, and shipping point one important consideration is animal welfare during slaughter. Mishandling or improper stunning causes unnecessary suffering. Studies show trade-offs. Electrical parameters that give an effective stun may risk bruising or broken bones while safer electrical settings may fail to stun some birds. Thus, plant design must balance welfare, yield, 
and meat quality. Another point, process stages influence meat quality and yield. For instance, speed of defeathering, temperature control, handling and evisceration all affect carcass integrity, microbial load, and product shelf life. Conclusion and call to action. What you see in a well-run poultry production chain is a carefully choreographed interplay of biology, engineering, hygiene, and management. Every link, from a sterile hatchery, the meticulously managed broiler house, to the high-speed processing plant, matters. Fail at one, an entire chain suffers. Loss of chicks, reduced weight gains, mortalities, contamination risk, inferior meat quality, or worse, food safety hazards. If you're considering entering this industry or scaling an existing poultry business, the time to invest in technology, training, and best practices is now. The margins may be tight, but the demand for safe, efficient, high-quality poultry is ever-growing. Take action. Audit your operations. Upgrade your hatchery controls. Strengthen biosecurity and design your processing systems around welfare and hygiene. Don't wait. Reach out to experts. Invest in equipment and ensure your path from egg to plate is efficient, safe, and sustainable. Let's build tomorrow's poultry systems today. Contact me now and let's discuss how you can optimize each step of your poultry chain for success.